Good evening. Teacher, no, se le, no tiene audio puesto usted, teacher. <laughs> Don't worry. No, no se le oye, no sé si es mi audífono. I can hear you, No, hijo. Hoy sí, dice, ya vi que lo, lo conectó. <ríe> no, pero no se oye, dice. Papá, te enviado. Good evening, people. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Sure. Sí. How are you? Good evening. I'm fine. Fine, thank you. Okay. Bye -bye. How was your weekend? Very well. It was tired. Tiring? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. But it was wonderful? Yeah. <laughs> Did, why? Tell us about it. Well. Did you do something special? Yes. Really? Uh, better my son. Oh, it was your son's birthday. Yes. Okay. Yeah. How old is he now? How old is your son now, Matías? Hola, 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 perdón. <risa> es que acaban de escribir el grupo y dicen que le manden el link de, 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 de la reunión. Oh, ok. Ahí buscándolo estaba. Yo no lo okay. mandé. Ok. Let me see if I can send it. But I need to activate something else. Sí. The WhatsApp web. Sí, teacher. Were you able to see the presentation before the class? I the introduction. <laughs> I'm sorry? Only the, intro the introduction, the topic and the agenda. Okay, the topic, the agenda. I was checking, I was checking now before. Simple pass and yes, no question. Ay, ahorita están viendo. <laughs> I don't, I didn't have time. Pero... El trabajo no me queda chance. Tío. I know. We are very busy people. Right? Okay, let me take the attendance for this evening. I see many of you are already connected. Okay, let me see who is here. Remember, it's important that you say present or here, okay? What day is today? Monday. Monday, exactly, okay. it's Monday. August. 16th. 16th, yes, ok. Miren que este no es el grupo. Miren, aquí está. O en otro grupo les iba a poner la asistencia. En otro grupo, ¿can you imagine? That's not good, people. Hey, I have to tell you something very important. Uh, this coming Wednesday is the due day. Is the is the last day for you to do the first midterm? Okay, so you gotta do it as soon as you can. Okay, the midterm, the midterm exam. When is the last day? 
August 18. And that is next Wednesday. Okay. Oh, okay. Monday 16th. Alba Vides. Present. Alfredo Rodas. Present. Carla. Sorry. Carla Maritza. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Do, Cristina Romero. Domingo Alexander. Domingo Alexander. I saw him. I saw him that he oh, was in the okay. bus. He was connected, but on the bus, right? But now, mm -hmm. ah, yes, Domingo Alexander. No está. Ahí está, ya lo vi. Present <laughs> on the chat. Okay, uh, Jose Matias Lemus. Present teacher. Ah, Domingo en el bus. Fátima del Carmen Portilla Hernández. Present. Karina Yanice Espinosa. Present. Marco David Vaz Velázquez Vázquez. Híjole, Domingo. No está Marco. Marco is, ab is absent. Yeah, he's not here. Okay. Um, Marlon Alberto Cardona Valencia. Present. Mauricio Alexander. Maidele Judith. Díaz. Present. Nancy Lice Rodríguez. Present. Rocío Katia Maritza. Present, teacher. Salvador, it's good to see you. Thank you, teacher. Present. Sandra Velázquez Beltrán. Present. Víctor Salazar. Present. Walter González. Present. Wow, Walter, you could connect it like before A, of course, and that's great. William Eduardo Perez Garcia. Present. Okay, thank you guys. Okay, so this is our video conference number right eight yeah i could see nancy saying yes teacher <laughs> um yeah so today we're going to study we're gonna study the simple past and that's a very important topic when you are learning english you need a lot of practice for for the simple past and today we're going to focus on yes, no questions in the simple past. Mm -hmm. um, ya han estudiado antes eh, el pasado simple? Or is it the first time? No, teacher, in the model. Last model. In the first last time. model. Okay. I think in the, in the last course, maybe you study the statements. Affirmative and negative, and in this course we're going to study the um, the questions. Okay, so just let me um, I'm down downloading uh, the presentation. Just give me a second, but. Um, I think you already have it right, and that's good.
you know what, sometimes the computer doesn't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't know why. She's like that with me or with you. Okay, give me a second, give me a second, guys. Don't fall asleep, please. For the next Teacher's Day, I'm going to ask for a computer, for a new computer and a laptop. Is that okay? As a gift. Change. Okay. <laughs> Very good. I have this problem right now. With the in no, it's not my computer. I think it's the internet. Ahí está, Babi. Yo, yo, yo creo que tiene lento el Inter, ¿verdad? Yeah, that's the problem. Sí, porque está, la veo como por ratito, como que si quiere quedar. Sí, le voy a cambiar de internet. Permítanme un momentito, porque ya veo que esto me va a dar problemas hoy. Le voy a quitar el wifi y le voy a poner el de mi celular. Mm, Alfredo Alexander says it's raining cats and dogs. Where, Alfredo? Hello. Hola. What is it raining? Hola, ¿cómo estás? <laughs> Ahí le respondieron, dicho. Ya ven, porque ustedes no me contestan. Entonces, la computadora me contesta. Hola, Just está? kidding, guys. Just kidding. Ay, ok. Yeah, I don't know what happens to this, but I can see my desktop. Aguilares. Oh. En Aguilares. Because here it's not raining here. Está trabajando. Mm. In the work. In the work. In work. Vaya, creo que hoy sí ya le vamos a poner. Vamos a ver. Dijo el cielo y no podía. Aquí está. Hoy sí. What did you do today, guys? Working hard. <laughs> you worked hard or you hardly worked? Mm, hardly worked. <laughs> uh -huh, because if you say working hard, it means that you're working hard. But if you hardly work, it means you apenas trabaja. <laughs> no working hard. Working hard, yes, I know. All of you are very hardworking people and, and very responsible because you are always here every night in, in our session, in our video conference, and that's great, okay? Well, um, in today's activities, we are gonna be talking about the simple past and information questions, and we are going to begin with a warm-up activity. The warm-up activity's name is Find Someone Who. Have you ever played Find Someone Who before? No. No? Okay, in this activity, you are going to ask questions. You're going to ask questions to your classmates about the previous weekend. And so before, um, I will show you the questions that you need to ask your partners, okay? I will show you the ideas, and you'll have to create the questions using the auxiliary. Can somebody tell me what's the auxiliary for the simple past? What's the auxiliary for simple past? Do. 
did. Okay, that is for the simple present did. and for the past we used the did. Exactly. Did. We used did. Very good. Esta es primera vez que nosotros eh, escuchamos del pasado. Oh. <laughs> no, but you're gonna you're gonna make it because you're very intelligent. So it's easy to teach you. A ver. Mm -hmm. Okay. Solo que no sé qué pasó acá. Vamos a ver. Miren, hoy sí se ha trastornado esto, pero ya ahorita no nos tiene que ganar la tecnología. Okay, I'm going to share my screen and you will be able to see my presentation. Can you see it? No. Yes. Teacher. Okay, now you can see it. So with the class objective, the class will be able to describe past networking experiences in business using the simple past and just no questions. The first activity is the warm up, find someone who. The activity one is gonna be depending role plays for the students who couldn't present last Friday in activity two, we have simple pass and just no questions. Activity three, time to work and finally the wrap up. So before we start the activity, I would like you to tell me what you know about regular and irregular verbs. What do you know about regular and irregular verbs? Green. In the regular verb, you only have to add sometimes only D or ED or IED. And the irregular verb uh, is totally different. Exactly. Okay. Thank you so much, Fatima, for giving the explanation. Yes, you could be a great teacher. <laughs> <laughs> yes, for the regular verbs, it's easy because you just have to add the. For example, we have the verb dance. Okay, to make dance in past, we just are going to we are, we are going to add the. D. So we say danced, danced. Okay. Let's make another example. Another verb that ends in E and it's regular. Like. Okay, very good, like. So in the past, I just add the D. And I say liked. The same with low, loved. Okay, what happens to those to other verbs? What example? Green. Let's see the verb cook. In this case, I'm going to add ed, and I say cooked, cooked. Okay. The verb visit is going to be help. ED, uh -huh. BC, visited. Okay, another example is the verb need. In the past, I'm going to add ED, needed. Okay, now what about those verbs in which I have to I, I, ED when the verb uh, ends in Y? For example, a study, I will change the Y for IED, study it. Exactly, study it. Another example is cry. Okay, the teacher cry. Because the students didn't want to do the homework. Ah, in that case, I delete the Y, quito la Y, ¿verdad? And I put IED. 
Another mm -hmm. example, apply. But apply is with double P. So A, P, P, L, no Y, I, E, D. Mm -hmm. So those are the three spelling rules for regular verbs in simple past. Got it? Yes, teacher. Easy, right? Ahí me pusieron. Ahora bien, con play es diferente. Miren, play en qué categoría queda en esta. ¿Por qué? I add the ED to the verb vocal. play. ¿Perdón? Porque, no, porque llevo una vocal antes de la Y, no llevo una consonante. Very good, excellent. Yes, that, that's the reason. It's because there is a vowel before the Y. It has to be a consonant before the Y if we want to put the I, E, D. Very good, yes. So in that case, play, I add E, D. ¿Por qué? Porque hay una vocal antes de la Y. ¿Verdad? Lo voy a decir en español. Es igual que, es, es igual que cut. Cut. ¿Dónde queda ahí eso, Ticho? No, no, no. Cut, no cortar. Cut. Ah, vaya. En ese es un irregular, un irregular verb. Cut. Cut. Mira, aquí en irregular verbs le pongo que él cambia el verbo. To a one different or it's the same. The same spelling. For example, cut, cut. Uh, let, let. Mm -hmm. Hort, hort. In the past, it's the same. But there are some other verbs that change. Ah, y otro aquí, miren, por ejemplo, read. It's the same, but the pronunciation is different. The pronunciation in the past tense is red, red, okay? Now, there are some other verbs that change. One of them is eat. In the past is Eight. Right. In the simple past, wrote. Drink. Sin. 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 Mm -hmm. Drink. 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 Go, went. Go, went, another one. Sleep, get. Ay, ahorita eso quisiera, slept. <laughs> Sleep, slept. <laughs> qué ánimos, teacher, qué ánimos. Ok, slept. Hmm? Sorry? Run. Run. Okay, run. And run. run. Swim. Swam. And many others, okay? So that, what's the difference between regular and irregular verbs? Can somebody tell me what's the difference? Todo, una, una vocal. En alguno. Que cambia la estructura del verbo. En algunos casos. Ok, regular verbs is the, is, the, is the same verb, but we add D, ED, or IED. Esa es la diferencia. 
That's the inference. A, D, D, I, E. No sé si lo pueden ver bien. Y en el caso de los irregular verbs, pueden ser igual, tanto en el present and in the past, like cut, cut, let, let, hold, or read, read. Or they can change completely. We have eat, ate, write, wrote, send, sent, drink, drank, go, went, sleep, slept, run, run, swim, and swam. Okay? Spoke. Le faltó speak. Perdón, speak, spoke, okay? Uh -huh. I'm going to put it here. Speak. Oh, la verdad es que son muchos verbos. Uh -huh. Yo no sé si les dejé de tarea de los verbos. No, no teacher. teacher. Ah, ya, pues en mis sueños se los dejé. <risa> sí, le dejó a teacher, pero no hubo chance. Verdad, mire cómo son, ya van a ver yo creyendo que estoy loca. No, no, sí, fue. ¿Cómo son los alumnos con uno? No, teacher, lo que pasa es que se le olvida a uno, teacher. Imagínense. <risa> Hay que anotar, espérenme que esto está fiando. Ok, so, now, can I pass to the next slide? Richard, Richard, y Dream, ¿dónde queda ahí, teacher? Drink or dream? Dream, soñar, dream. It's irregular. Oh. It can be spelled in two ways. Um, no, I'm sorry, it's regular. Dreamed, dreamed. Mm -hmm. 